Rob Ott, we in the building again. Tonight, we got a special guest for you. The legendary brother, Rod Hayes. About to be in the building, man. Let's get that thumbnail look. We roll, we're rolling up in here real hot, man. Hey, we supposed to came back on the In Anarchy Part 2, but we uh I had to set up this class for the brother Rod. So uh that's what made me not come back. So I'm just gonna drop that. I'm gonna drop that tape tomorrow. I'm gonna drop probably like two parts tomorrow. Then we got a couple, man. I got a several tapes that I'm working on that finna come out. Hey, but you see, we're getting doing the classes better now with the slideshow. So that's what's taking me longer to do get everything set up because I'm doing the pictures or whatever to get the slides so shut up, uh, shut up, set up for you. So we in the building, man. Get them in the building. We're going to give them time to get on. We uh getting the thumbnail put up there. We're going to get the brother on in about a couple minutes, man. We're talking about the $5 Indians. Sit your $5 die for I make change. Yeah, you know, so sit your $5 down before I make that. We got them. We back home. We lit. Y'all give the gang in the building, man. Ride by boys. We got that event coming up, man. The tickets sold out already, man. We hitting the building. We on point. You know what I'm saying? We hot. Get them on. Tell them we live, bro. All right, let me switch to the laptop. Then we're going to get the brother on. We rolling like it's... It's game time, baby. They're just not announcing the queen's death. But like I say, the brother Rod Hayes, I already talked about it months ago on the show already. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, so he he going in on the five dollar image. Man. You know what I'm saying? Let's blow that up big for you. Oh yeah. Let me tell the brother we lit. We lie. Let's see. Oh, yeah, baby. Everybody get ready to come on in just a minute. Y'all get in the building, man. Like I say, I'm going to, uh, we had to set up this show for the brother Rod Hayes. So we had to, uh, we took, we had to take a break on coming back on that because we supposed to came back in 20 minutes earlier, right? So we're going to do the part two, uh, and on architect technology part two, it's going to, it's going to be lit. All uh, right, he said, give him a couple minutes. He uh, he handled some business. He's going to get on in just a second. So we're just going to talk a little bit. Uh, let me go on and talk a little bit then. I'm going to go through this other file that I got. Now, he's going to talk about the $5 Indians, and he's going to go in on the, uh, the aging connection. The aging connection. And like we said, uh, let me show you this picture. I want to pull this. Keep in mind the agents, the dark, the agents that came over here with Ho Shin, they were dark skinned agents. They were dark skinned agents. You see what I'm saying? That's why the the, uh, the Native American Chinese mix looks so dark. Because I was wondering why, like, why they look so dark if they mix with some white Chinese. You know what I'm saying? Look at Nelly. We got Nelly. We got Nelly, man. You can tell he got Chinese in him. You know what I'm saying? 
Look at that. See, it's a lot that I ain't telling you. I'm about to get into it, though. Matter of fact, let's roll this clip. Uh, let's roll our famous clip before uh, the brother come on. Let's roll our famous clip. You know we got to roll it, bro. Shout out everybody to build it. Better be get this other uh, chat room pulled up so I can see what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah, it's about to get greasy up in this joint. It's about to get greasy, sleazy. Shout out everybody to build it. Better be get this other uh, uh, chat room pulled up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey man, hold on. Let me do this real quick. Got to get it set up. Young know, other game, we in the building. Another one, another one, like DJ Kelly, another one. Another one. The donations to. Oh, yeah, man. It's about to be lit in this building. Yeah, just give us a second, man. We're getting set up now. Supposed to came on at 8 30. Uh, the brother is a little bit behind. Uh, I'm finna really go in, though. I just want to just set this uh thing up real quick. Young Gilbert Gang, we in the building. Hey, it's gonna be lit, man. This month is gonna be a lit month today. Uh, you know the brother uh red pill and blue pill and and uh black magic was on uh stone mountain you know what i'm saying having the powwow you know what i'm saying getting it on you know what i'm saying doing their thing it was lit the energy was big you know what i'm saying had a couple of great speakers out there that was lit man i watched the whole thing i think he got a part one part two to it May even get a part three. I ain't, I ain't, I'm gonna go back and check later on tonight. Man, if you want to show some the brother uh Rod Hayes some love, we're gonna be posting his cash app in the leaks. And we post our cash app in the links if you want to show us some love because we we both doing our thing, man. We're gonna get it get it cracked. That posted in the links. We we hitting you nonstop. Hey, look, I, we we slowed the train down to get you a look to catch up. I did three tapes in one day the other day, so uh, we slowing down a little bit to give you time to catch up. But we about to tomorrow we about to take back off, man. I ain't gonna be another train about to get ready to take back off tomorrow, bro. So you better you hope you caught up on on all the tapes. It's a lot of tapes, man, to go over. It's a lot of tapes to go over, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's that now. Let's get started. Let's go on crackheads, cause we hey we. My brother said, "Hold it down until you come on," cause he handling some business. Say, come and start. All right, it's all right. I got you, bro. Don't worry about that. We're gonna do this. Let's play our classic tape. By my main man, DT. Let's play it. Let's roll that clip, eh? Roll that clip. Discussing Indian. Is this you? Discussing Indian blood? We're going to judge people by whether they have Indian blood, whether they're qualified to run a gaming casino or not? Uh, uh, that probably is me, absolutely. Because I'll tell you what, if you look, if you look at some of the reservations that you've approved, you, sir, and your great wisdom have approved, 
I will tell you right now, uh, they don't look like Indians to me, and they don't look like the Indians. Now, maybe we say politically correct or not politically correct. They don't look like Indians to me, and they don't look like Indians to Indians. And a lot of people are laughing at it, and you're telling how tough it is, how rough it is to get approved. Well, you go up to Connecticut, and you look. Now, they don't look like Indians to me, sir. Oh, shit. We got the brother Rod Hayes in the building now. Hey, where you want to start at, brother? You want to say you want to play them videos first? I got them already lined up. Let's finish here with Trump say. Okay, okay. You want to go on? You want me to start it back? Let it play. Okay. I know where you at. I just want you to let it play. I want you to hear what people to hear what Trump said years ago. Because he been knew who we were. You're approving it, sir. Okay. They don't look like the Indians. Now, maybe we say politically correct or not politically correct. They don't look like Indians to me, and they don't look like Indians to Indians. And a lot of people are laughing at it, and you're telling how tough it is, how rough it is to get approved. But you go up to Connecticut, and you look. Now, they don't look like Indians to me, sir. Thank God that's not the test of whether or not people have rights in this country or not, whether or not they pass your look test. Depends whether, yeah, depends whether or not you're approving it, sir. No, no, it's not a question whether I'm approving it. It's not a question whether I'm approving it. Mm. Mr. Trump, you know, you know, in the history of this country, where we've heard this discussion before, they don't look Jewish to me. Uh, they don't oh, look shit. to me. They don't look Italian to me. And that was a test for whether people could go into business or not go into business, whether they could get a bank loan. You're too black. You're not black enough. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I ain't look. Damn. Go ahead, brother. So you, you understand what's going on in that clip? Yeah, I ain't see. I ain't never watched the whole thing, the last little piece that he said. I ain't, I ain't just really listened to the last piece. Do you know what that's all about, that whole discussion? I think it, well, I don't really know, but based on my opinion, based on the, the little bit of research I did on it, it's like it was, uh, he was complaining about the Italians hustling with, through the casinos, to make a long story short. It wasn't, he wasn't complaining about the Italians. Okay. He was complaining about $5 Indians. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. That's why I played it. That's why I played it, because I thought it was connected to this. Go ahead. Okay, now, listen to what he said. He said, they don't look like Indians to me. Mm-hmm. And they don't look like Indians to Indians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, who the fuck is they and who they look like? Right. Go ahead. Right. So today's topic is the $5 Indian and where they come from. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So the first thing. Your, your you voice were... sound muffled a little bit, uh, like you in a. Uh... That's because I, I was I was kind of far away from the phone. I, I ain't all the way set up. I'm still in. The... Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. So now look, go to the videos that I sent you. It's the reason we're gonna start here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hey, hit that likes button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to show your brother uh Rod Hayes some love, we posted this cash app in the link, man. So Why you busy. looking at that? Why you looking for that elder? That yep. video the uh, Trump was trying was having problems with his Atlantic City casinos okay. and the gaming commission in uh Atlantic City. Uh -huh. This was like in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh huh. Right. And when he was having it, uh, they was trying, the mob couldn't move in. For some reason, Trump was always uh, persona non grata, hands off to the mob. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But when you go back to his history, you see that one, his attorney was the attorney to most of the big mobsters. So he pretty much kept him safe. OK. okay. So in that video, he had to go testify before the gaming commission about the mob trying to muscle in on the uh, casino business. And they was trying to ask Trump initially if the mob was pressuring him. Okay. It ended up coming out that the mob had organized some $5 Indians to open the casino. Okay. On their behalf in uh, Atlantic City, and they got caught, and that's what that was all about. Shit. 
All right, now, when we start this, we got to go back to the Etruscans. Okay. So the first video, um, which was the first video? Which was the first right here, one? This one right here, the uh, Etruscans, Italian civilization before Rome. That was the first Right, one. okay. This is a short video. That's about three, four minutes. No, nah, this one right here, 20 minutes. Okay, we're going to only listen to about probably at the most five minutes of it. At the first beginning, or you want me to cut to a specific? Yep, at minute? the first beginning, because right. before you started, the Etruscans settled Rome. Okay. They got the keys to the kingdom from Greece under Alexander through Enlil. Remember that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now they're going to tell you that they was coming. Remember, I told you they came in to Europe from the east as Byzantine kings out of the Ottoman Empire, right? Mm -hmm. And from the west, they came across the pillars of Hercules and the Spain, what they call the Iberian Peninsula. Okay. Right? And from and there is when they conquered uh, most of what we know as Europe. Now, this is what we're about to get a little background on. So okay. we need to start there so you will know exactly who I'm talking about when I'm talking about Romans and Etruscans. They're okay. the same people. Okay. You, you ready to right. start it? Yep. Y'all lip. Hey, when I start this, let me know in the chat uh, what the sound quality. Do I need to turn it down or up? It's hard to imagine Italy as anything other you can than turn it up a little bit. World. Oh, the shit, that's loud. Of God, man. Okay, that's good. It's it's loud, don't worry about it. Which yeah. society we live in today. However, it was not always this way. Stretching from the Po Valley to the Tiber River, the Etruscan civilization thrived for centuries. Can you get that off the screen? Boasting a society that rivals the sophistication of classical Greece, the trading acumen of Phoenicia, what and the wealth of Egypt. Is it full screen now? Yeah. You see that little box at the bottom? Can you get that off? It's uh, an X on it, ain't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, right here. Okay. It's hit right there. Right, okay, now. Ahead. Start it over. Because it, it was important with the, yeah. It's full screen. It's hard to imagine Italy as anything other than the heart of the Latin world, the origin point of Roman civilization, which has so greatly influenced the society we live in today. However, it was not always this way. Stretching from the Po Valley to the Tiber River, the Etruscan civilization thrived for centuries before the founding of Rome, boasting a society that rivaled the sophistication of classical Greece, the trading acumen of Phoenicia, and the wealth of Egypt. In this video, we will tell you the story of Italy's most ancient people and explore the monumental cultural impact they had on the young Roman Republic and through them, the world. Shout out to Blinkist for- You, you see the imagery they are showing, right? That's just as important work, as what he's saying. It's difficult to find the okay, time right. to learn new stuff. Our work and social life take up most of our time, while social media is addictive, so it's natural to think that you don't have enough time to read a book. Yet developing yourself is crucial for every facet of our lives. So how to fix that? We recommend the app called Blinkist. This is a unique app that takes the most important insights yeah. that past this commercial. And now, from thousands yeah, like of non-fiction 24-7 use Blinkist to kings and generals are going to get in their early history. The Romans referred to these strange and foreign peoples to their north as Etruski, and it is from this root that the modern region of Tuscany gained its name. However, the peoples in question called themselves the Racena. At their peak, which lasted from around 750 to 400 BCE, they were an incredibly prosperous society, and their cities lit up the Italian heartland. Pisa, Bologna, Capua, and other modern population centers were originally founded by the Etruscans. They were also a seagoing people, forging trade networks all over the Mediterranean that brought copious wealth into their lands. Through their skilled warriors, they would establish themselves as the premier power in the Italian peninsula for centuries. And although they would eventually be conquered and assimilated into Rome, the empire we all know would be nigh unrecognizable if not for the contributions that the Etruscans made to its society. Where the Etruscans originally came from is a matter of scholarly debate. The ancient historian Herodotus claimed that they were migrants from Anatolia, 
while others asserted that they were one of the mysterious sea peoples that caused the Bronze Age collapse. It is through language that we gain a clearer window into the Etruscans' past. For most of their history, their civilization was surrounded by Celtic Gauls to the north, Greeks to the south, and Italic tribes to their east, the latter of whom would eventually spawn the Latins of Rome. Diverse as they were, these three people had one thing in common. They spoke Indo-European languages. Today, this massive language family covers most of the globe, but in the early Iron Age, it would have been a relatively new arrival in Europe with the Greeks, Italics, and Celts all being descended from a common ancestor Pause. that likely migrated out of the Caucasian. Okay, you see right here, they talking about the different languages in mm -hmm. Europe. Now, notice they saying that all of these is different Indo-European languages. Mm -hmm. Indo mean old, ancient. Mm -hmm. Neo mean new, modern. Okay. So we talking Indo-European languages, we talking ancient languages that were spoke by melanated Europeans and what we would call Grimaldi Europeans, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So right here, we looking at the development of Rome under the influence of the Etruscans. Now, remember I told you, the Greek language was written by Egyptian priests, Latin was written by the uh, Moorish scholars from like uh, the up by Libya in that area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we would call it Al Magri. They wrote Latin. Mm -hmm. Latin was for the patriarchs in the law. Greek was for the matriarchs in social clubs. Mm -hmm. You see the difference. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the development over time of what happened, the Greek languages became synonymous with fraternities and sororities. Mm -hmm. And these is clubs, what we call them social clubs, mm -hmm. brotherhoods, sisterhoods, mm -hmm. all right? And under Latin, we got legalese as the preeminent language of Latin, overriding every other um, form of Latin on the planet, legalese influences every society. Okay, now, from here, Rome is being developed. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, before they come over here, go to the next video. We need to know who these people was fighting when they became Rome, mm -hmm. right? And this is what the next two videos going to show us, who they was fighting, because this is how we're going to find out who the, uh, who the, um, Five dollar Indian is because we're gonna go through some pictures after these videos. And we do say good morning, America. What's what's the title of this one, Elder? Okay, so this is Roman versus the Mongols. Now you know. The Mongols is the kinds, Genghis Khan, Kublai Khan, mm -hmm. and that whole clan in those dynasties was fighting Rome. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to some of it. Okay. This is only two minutes, so we can listen to the whole thing. All right. Pay attention to the colors and the symbols. Red and blue. It's showing the respective empires. Size comparison of the respective empires. Populations of the respective empires. Mm -hmm. So now it's going into the language, religion. You see, you got Christianity. Yep. Okay, government. 
See, elective monarchy, absolute monarchy. Longest ru uh, ruling emperor, Kublai Khan, and the longest ruling emperor is uh, Augustus. Now, all of these is these are the ones who fought military history. 76% victories for the Huns and 72% victories for the Romans, right? So then it goes into the army strengths, right? Now these is this comparative analysis, right? This is going over, right now it's going over the gross domestic product. That's the wealth of the, of, of the dynasty. Sources of income. Look at. You see something look familiar? Then, under oh. Rome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rome. The, uh, you see the source of income for Rome, right? I can't really hear you. Hold up. Now, what you see that out. Me? Go back a couple minutes and look at the source of income for Rome. I got you right here. See it right there. Pause it. Where? Lord. I'm going to pause right there. Now, what you seeing right here on this part? You see where it says source of income, right? Yeah. Okay, so for uh, the Mongols, it said their source of income is invading nations. Yeah. For Rome, it said their source of income is what? Water. Slaves trade. It's saying oh, right oh, here. Oh, 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 this right here, Rome on the red side. Yeah. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now look at the symbols. Yeah, he, he they hitting like a... Uh, yeah, I see the symbol they're doing with the finger. Spinning the globe. Okay, now, if the source of their income is slave trade, uh -huh. who, okay, at what point do they stop trade slaves? Yeah, right? They never stop. We seeing now where they're getting their slaves from. Yeah, America. All right, so now, they no, we ain't got to America yet. Okay, all right. the, this who they fight. This is one of the groups they fight. When you okay. go to the next one, it's going to be the same thing, but it's going to show you the other group called the Huns. Okay. Right. So go, go to the next video. I got you. Just downloaded a game that says real oh, cool looking game. There's no. In Chile, winter 371 AD, the Romans are marching in a freezing cold weather. The East Roman Empire sent a small oh, army of 5,000 Romans to deal with an <laughs> unknown threat at the border. See them balls of fire get cast at their ass? Yeah. They had heard the group of mounted devils are raiding the border territories. The word devil means enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Romans hired a band of Ostagoth warriors to help fend uh, off this common threat. So they outsourced the war. Remember that? Yeah. The Ostagoths have been causing trouble at the Roman borders for a few years. So now they are using a problem to deal with a problem. Okay. Putting their differences aside, they agreed to meet with the Romans at a designated place 
near the, the Danube to face the Huns. You see what it say, right? See them? You see that, yeah. how they look, right? Okay, yeah. now, let's go to the photo lineup and we're going to pull up what the Huns look like and we're going to pull up what the Mongols look like. Let them see, blow it up. Well, this one right here first? Yeah. All right. It's the first one, ain't it? Yeah. All right, now you see what they got? They got spears and shields and swords, yeah. and they on horseback. Yeah. But if you look at the guy in the front, he got something else. What A else boat. he got? A, A bow. Right, go to the next picture. Look at their facial features. Yeah. Blow it up some more. We're going to see what their face look like. So these are Mongols. Okay. Right. These are the descendants of uh, Genghis Khan, Kublai Khan. I remember Genghis Khan, uh, Y chromosome, is in over 60% of the world's population. Okay can trace back to Genghis Khan. That no matter where you at in the world, I make that shit make sense. Yeah, you're right. Unless he conquered a whole lot of shit. Go ahead. Right. So he had a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of kids. He had about like 5,000 children or something like that, they say. Damn. Um, but the whole thing being is the Rome, Rome was taking these people as slaves, when they okay. lose, they become wrong. Like if you send a, 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 a platoon out and they lose, uh -huh. whoever left is going to Rome to be a slave as a POW. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go to the next picture. <clears throat> okay, you see it say, the, they got the Mongols on the left, you see, he got his bow and arrow package on the back. He got yeah. he probably got his bow on the, his bow hanging over his other shoulder. Yeah. And then he got a spear. So the uh the knights of Romans, you see, they got swords and shields. Mm -hmm. Right. So they got different battle array array. Go to the next picture. Got him. This is the club. This is the uh, colors for a biker club. Now, the Mongols are nomads, and all nomads to us over here fall under the jurisdiction of Hell's Angels if they ride the steel horse. Mm -hmm. So you see they got their colors. Mm -hmm. So the European FBI agents was starting wars between Mongols and Hell's Angels. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is an actual biker club. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. I love them. All I, right. I love watching them. It's, it's the reason they in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's go to the next picture. Look at the dress in the in the way that they dress at home. Mm -hmm. That's not too much different than how we used to dress, except we wore feathers. Mm -hmm. Right? Look at the facial features. Blow it up a little closer so they can yeah, see what this the one faces kind of look like. Mm -hmm. You can get a general idea, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go to the next picture. You got to understand where these people come from if you want to know who's who on the planet Earth. This is, uh, uh, I think this is one of the kinds right here. But you see he got the arrows on his back? Mm -hmm. Now look at the symbol on his shield. Okay. Yeah. Right, that's called the tricat. Why is that on there? Yeah, why is it? Right, that represents the three sisters. Okay. Right, 
And when you see them over there, they, they was called wind riders on horseback. Okay. And they was called it. They were saying they 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 on horseback. They were as swift as the wind. Okay, right. So they were some of the best horse riders. Today they bikers. Okay, right. They traded in the four legged horse for a steel horse. All right. Well, now pay attention to these little little tidbits because they come back in um, the tone of turnaround when we get back over here. Mm -hmm. Go to the next picture. Now, this is a good one because this is showing the battle taking place between the Romans on the right and the Mongols on the left. Now, mm -hmm. you see they shooting bow and arrows at their ass, mm -hmm. right? Now, ain't no guns yet. Okay. So the Romans is at a distinct advantage because those bow and arrows is like they, like they come into a gunfight with a knife. Mm-hmm. Right now, look at that symbol on that shield. Yeah, that's like the Knights of Templar symbol. Only the color is different. Yeah, it's black. Why is, okay, so the color means something. Okay, go to the next picture. We ain't gonna deal with all of this right now because it's too much stuff. Now, this shows you the extent of the Huns Empire. Mm -hmm. The yellow was the Roman Empire, and the gold was the um, Empire of Attila the Hun. You see the comparative size analysis, right? Mm -hmm. So the Huns was taking slaves from Rome because Rome was taking slaves from the Huns. Okay. Right? So what would they do is they would have a trade in order to um, trade back the slaves. They had a trading program for the servants to be brought back home. Okay. That don't exist now. We just automatically save slaves under modern Rome. Okay. Okay, now, we needed to see this. Because you see where it say East Roman Empire? Yeah. And then right to the right of that, it say Asia, right? Yeah. Okay, this was the Turkish Empire, Ottomans. We're going back into Turkey, going back to Asia, in the direction of Asia off East Roman Empire. Okay. Right? Then we cross in the Black Sea on the right. And uh, uh, I think that's the, that's the Mediterranean on the left into the Iberian Peninsula. And you see the Buddha Italy, right? And then you got your Western Roman Empire. But when you look to the North Atlantic in the north, where it's a British Isles, notice huh? that Ireland and Scotland is grayed out. Yeah, yeah. Because at that time, they hadn't been conquered yet. Okay. All right, let's go to the next picture. This is a Hun, not a Mongol. Okay. But it's you different. see how her face looks? You see how her face looks? Yeah. See if, you get, see if you blow her up big enough to see her face. Close. You got a good idea, though. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to the next picture. This is a hun um, on horseback shooting bow and arrow. Okay. Right? Uh, remember Long Range of Time Told, the Indians riding around shooting bow and arrows off a of horseback? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. All this going to come back in a minute. This We're going to come full circle with this shit. Okay. Look, see him shooting a um, Roman soldier down with the bow and arrow? Yeah. Right? Let's go to the next one. Now, this is the Huns. Now we finna get into who the Huns really is. Now hey, remember, go we got different alien groups came to give a drop of blood for a genetic spill. Yeah. Look at these head shapes. Remember the cone heads? Remember yep. Bob I talking about? Yeah, I got pictures of them in here for you. Yeah. Okay, so if you look at them, see that the second lady? Mm -hmm. You can blow it up, you can see the geography of where they're from. See, five other time frames, right? So you got the woman in Italy, uh, uh, 
what it Burgundy Lady of Lion, 1200 AD, the woman in Alsace, 500 AD. Then you got the Goth, 200 BC. You got the East German from the Roman era. Now look at these facial. Now, when you studying the skulls of peoples around the world, the science is called phrenology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now you look at the shape of their skull. Now remember, Baba told us that um, in Shambhala, there are a group of extraterrestrials called Teros that live there. Oh, but these is the ones they gave they drop of blood to on the physical earth. Right, pull that last picture up down there at the bottom. Oh, I got you here. I got other pictures of them too, if you want to uh, put them. Mm -hmm. This is good right here. Now, this is one of the ones that Baba had, had the artist draw. You see the shape of the head, the pointy ears. Think of Dr. Spock, Vulcans, right? Yeah, the Vulcans, yeah. Right, but these are tarot. Mm -hmm. But they're closely related to the Vulcans by uh, planetary geography, mm -hmm. right? So they were within the same or similar star system and the seeding of their planets was by similar means. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, it said that uh, one of these tarot had a baby with a Danakiel mm -hmm. and produced the big head scientists. Mm -hmm. And not only did they produce him, he had two whole brains in his head. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What do that mean? Yeah, go ahead. It's a metaphor. Fully evolved left brain, fully evolved right brain. Mm -hmm. Right? You, they call you a big head. Mm -hmm. A muscle head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, a, a brainiac. Yeah. Right? Now, um, when we get to these people, right, we got to understand that these is the sources of five dollar Indians. Okay. Now, let's go in. Did you get any of those files? Because it said they was unsent. I had sent you some uh, some documents. That was all I got from you so far, right there. Uh, okay. Look, do this. Okay. Pull up. Go. Uh, pull up my Facebook page. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Is it under Raw Hayes? Yeah. I should have just sent you the link right quick in the. Uh... Let me see how can I. Uh... Now I can pull up your Instagram because I got the link up on it, but send me the link for send me the link for the uh hold on. Yeah, send me gonna, for your Facebook real quick. I'm just gonna send you the post. Okay. I did send this on that. Yeah, send me the post. I can I can slide it to, from the uh, computer to the from my phone to the computer. Yeah. The reason why I made this post is because I figured this was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So I was trying, it's two posts. This is the first one I'm about to send you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the first one, and then I'm seeing the second one because the second one gonna have some um other good information in it. Let's see, can I get the picture? Hey, Rob, bye. If you come into the building, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. If you want to show your brother Rod Hayes and love. Hey, which post is it? Because you got a whole bunch of them on here. I just sent you the link directly to a post. All right. You got about 75 pictures on that one post. <laughs> right. But you got to go to the beginning of the post. All right. Hold on. Let me, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up on the computer. Let me just, let me say the link. I'm gonna say that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna say the link and get it hooked up for you. Okay. 
Copy it. Boom. Hold on just a second. I don't know why I should have had you log into Facebook earlier too, so you yeah. already been yeah. logged in. Yeah, but I would have had that set up too, so we just go right to it. It's all good though. We rolling everybody, and we got like about 500 people almost in this joint. So we lit, we live. Okay, so while you're looking for that, a background on what you're about to uh, pull up. This is telling us about the uh, creation of the Dawes Roll Indians. The Dawes Roll Indians is what we call $5 Indians. Mm -hmm. The position that I'm making today is that these was the slaves that the conquistadors brought with them when they got kicked out of Europe um, to be of service to them. Right? Mm -hmm. So the uh, Huns and the Mongols were the two of the main groups they was warring with, but they was also warring with the Vedics or the Hindus as we call them now. <clears throat> so we are gonna go over the Andrew Jackson and the Dawes Roll. Who is the, who is the Dawes Roll named after all that's what we about to go over next. Because if you don't know who these $5 Indians is, you can't tell these motherfuckers they ain't you because they're running around masquerading like they us, getting belligerent because they don't want us telling people who the fuck we is. And then you got the ones that came over here and found out that they was lied to about us, took sides with us, and they kept our secrets sacred for the final and the closing of the age, which is now. And you can tell the difference by their perception and reception of us as a collective of organic people to this land. The $5 Indians who had their loyalties to the um, Scottish Rite 32 degree Albert Pike tracing all the way back to Enlil, them motherfuckers can kiss ass. <clears throat> now, you still there, Elder? So um, what we're doing now is we're going through how they got here and how they used the $5 um, Indian thing in order to register our replacements. Regatta, what in the hell is you doing? <laughs> I'm lining you up right now. Oh, got you. Read what it say. They think that they can legislate us out of history. Murder us out of history what and paper genocide us out of history. <laughs> they think they can motherfucking tell us anything they want us to believe, and we just supposed to fall for that shit. Trick no I good. See, I'm gonna play them games, man. Like it's uh, I got the link right there. Man, what the hell, bro? That shit just froze. Hold on, let me try it one more time. I got I got the link saved up in there so I can go straight to it to the uh, on the video. You there? Uh, or did it come yeah. Out? Okay, okay, right. Man, they playing games right now. What you going through, YouTube? Yeah, I got the link that like the uh the link you just sent me. I saved it on on YouTube on the video, so I can just click right on it, and then they everybody else to click on. Oh, it. okay, I see what you was what was doing. 
yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then they can click on there too and they can see what we're reading closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that way it'd be already in the link when they uh the receipts or whatever. So I got it right here. So you go right here, and just click right there. Boom. Man, it should load up. This this what I'm saying. Okay, all right now. Okay, read that. See where it's where, right, that's the right, It says five at five dollar ass bot to be made change on the young know, Damn, I didn't even know you did that. And I had uh and I had put that uh the Nino Brown thing on uh on the cover. I didn't even know you did that. I ain't know you man, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hey, we were, that's how you know we could it's connected, man. I, I put the, the Nino Brown, I put the five dollar thing on the uh on the damn screen thing, man. I'm telling you. Okay, let's, now do this. Man. Click the first picture. Okay, all right, let's see it, man. Let's see if it load up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Is it stuck right here on this screen? Load. Uh, you know what? I might have to log in to get in and to make it go. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see. Uh, you might not want to put your password. Oh, it, it'll it'll black it out. Yeah, it'll be like I'm trying to think uh, about I got so many pages. Uh, I just use one that everybody. I'm trying to think of one that I got. That I can, can open. Let's try this one. I think it's TV. Man, they try to block us. Like Matombo, I had to cross them over. Hey, look! I sent you these files that I put on these posts, and it kept—I couldn't. It, it kept saying um, "won't send" or "or it failed to send," and I kept pushing "resend," 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 and it wouldn't take them. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's like uh, it's probably got. You can email them to me though. Come on, baby. Work, work. Damn, man. I ain't got time to do all this shit. Shit, why won't let me click on it? I thought I was already logged into a Facebook account. Chris, where say log in? Oh, let me try this one then. Oh, no, bro. Yeah, it's one, uh, it ain't even let me log in. It's just freezing it. They got something going on with your Facebook. But you, uh, nigga, they don't want nobody looking at this shit. <laughs> Man, I've been in Facebook jail for about six months. And um, you just go right to it. Mm -hmm. Anybody else probably would have. Let's see. Man, I think I'm trying to do one. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Let me think of an email address that I got. Oh, yeah, that's what I got. I can use that one. This one. Oh, okay, this might be. Damn, bro. That's crazy. One, two, three. Man, that's crazy. That's the right password, dude. Hey, go to your e. Open your email up. All right. Yeah, that's crazy, right there. That's if right you got your Facebook account on your email, you can you can go in through your email to your Facebook. Okay, yeah, hey, Mike Jones. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't want to open my email up because it's some shit up now. Top secret files up now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the email is I can't open that up. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's got like shit up now that I'm trying to think of uh man, I got it. Hold up, I got it, man. It's just they fucking playing games with their password, but I know it's the password. But... Did you see when they, as soon as you put that email in there, password went in automatic? Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Mike James, baby. Mike James, similar to Mike Jones, except we're taking these motherfuckers to knowledge instead of home. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just talking a little trash in the meantime while we waiting on this uh, access. Ask me for a damn password. It's going to send it to you on your phone. Okay, I got it. There we go right there, baby. Let's do it. Mike James. Mike James. Get the fuck out of here, man. Skip. Nancy, gonna let me pull up all your shit? Hold up. Mm hmm. All right, so let's try it now, man. Law dance. See what these niggas gonna say. All right, let's try it now. Oh, uh, there we go. We in, baby. Young Gil the cracking the game. Oh, well, yeah. since we talking about this lizard, I mean, uh, since we talked, since she popped up, yeah. look, it's some, it's some shit going on with this. Go ahead. Spill the, right? the tea. Look, it's 17 days of mourning for the queen. It's normally 10 days for royalty, right? I was talking to my London Connect. And she said, there's normally only 10 days. She got 17. You know what I told her? What? That's funny because exactly 17 months ago, her uh, so-called husband died. Damn. Mm, ain't that something? Yeah. Then my man came with the one, uh, 140 flip on her birthday, mm -hmm. 140 days later. 140 days. So it's a whole lot of... Uh, Shit, but the bottom line is this. The queen been dead since the crest got knocked off mm -hmm. Buckingham Palace a couple of years, a year and a half, two years ago. Mm -hmm. They decided to wait to September the 8th of 2020 to announce it because it means something. Mm -hmm. Now, I posted a lady on my Facebook earlier um, talking about a Nostradamus prediction. Mm -hmm. And they said that the people would reject him from being king. He gave all this information on her death. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, um, this was the protocol London Bridge is down for when she did. Now, the part I want you to notice is how many days of mourning do it say on here? Days of mourning. Can I pull yeah. it? Just scroll down on that picture. Go okay, ahead. Go ahead. There are 12 days of mourning. So they added five days. Mm -hmm. Right? The moment she passed, Charles becomes king. A note was pinned to Buckingham Palace announcing the news. Oh, really? The phrase to communicate her passing was London Bridges is down. And um, from my understanding, that ain't what they've been saying. Do you know what they've been saying? What? Ding dong, the witch is dead. Ah! <laughs> Straight off of uh, um, the Wizard of Oz. Damn. That's now crazy. look, it's a certain, It's only a few days left before the Roman Catholic Church called in all the holdings. Mm -hmm. So imagine you in Las Vegas at the biggest casino there. All of a sudden, you hear over the PA, everybody that's going to cash out, cash out. Why would the casino do that? Why? They have to be closing. 
So they calling in all of the poker chips. Right? Well, yeah. let's get on back to the topic, to the $5 Indians. Let's see what this dog's roll thing is about. You got to go the other way. Casablanca. <laughs> Driving Miss Lizzie. Yeah, that's it. That shit is hilarious. Who did that one? This is the only ones that, okay, I, I remember I had to go back. Okay, is that it right there? Yeah, I want you to go the other way. You was going the right way. Okay, but I went to the bottom. <laughs> this boy. Right. No, that ain't all of them. It's a whole lot of stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna skip over the Mercury retrograde and we're gonna get into this to this dog's roll shit. All these is part of the post. Right. Yeah, now yeah, you're that shit. No wonder they block it. Uh... <laughs> Keep going. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Let's look at let's look at this for a minute. Let's look at this whole picture. Look at the top of it. Go to the top of it and see what they say. Oh, what did it say? They taught us we came to America on a slave ship in the 15th century. Now, what the other part say? What's the bottom of the picture say? But the, the artifacts show we were already here in America in the 7th century AD. Well, what's the picture of the artifacts? What in the hell? Do that look like a pale skinned Indian to you? No, they look like them damn uh the ones you them, them Huns. <laughs> like the Huns mixed with the uh black mixed with the uh, uh this this is a long time ago, this seventh century. Yeah, right. So they tried to tell us that all of the Asians came over the Bering Straits through Alaska and populated the, the uh what we call the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. That's what they tried to tell us. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the pictures. Let's keep going. We gotta get to these dogs roll shit because we gotta see who these dirty players is that's doing this bullshit. Oh, I seen the turkey. I was out. Uh, the turkey standing in front of the car. <laughs> that's fire. I ain't never seen a turkey over there. That's Lucifer. You get a good picture of him right there. Mm -hmm. Fat, he like he fattening up for the Thanksgiving, so we can. We can oh yeah, him. I might not never see a turkey in that spot again. That, that turkey represents a sign. It represents a uh, certain energy. That bird, that turkey. Yeah, the turkeys mean chief. Yeah, and strong bird. It's a strong bird too. One of the turkeys, one of the strong birds. Mm -hmm. That's what the chief is. The strong bird. Yeah. This is James Brown, please, please, please. Well, you, uh, that's rare, though. That's rare to see a single turkey like that, like that out there. Yeah, and especially where I saw him at. Yeah, that's rare. All right, now we're about to start getting to the good part. I like this picture right here. That's fire. <laughs> I'm about to say that one. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got to read that because that's important. If y'all got to be aware of this, the day is coming soon where good men are gonna have to do. Scroll down, we read the rest oh, of it. Oh, damn, my bad. They say the day is coming soon where good men are gonna have to do bad things to very bad people. That's the day I want. That's where I want to get cut loose at, right there. Damn. All right, here we go. We're about to get into it. Oh, it's still loading up. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Just going in all of the pictures we went over earlier and everything. Yeah. I had it set up in case the rest of the pictures didn't go through. We would have to be going through all of this. Oh. Go back up. One picture red before picture. this one. This one picture we went to go over. Yeah, that red. Yeah, because this is the Mongol, Mongol Empire. 
scroll mm-hmm. up a little bit so you can see where Rome was to the left over there. You can see uh, the other way, okay. a little bit more. Damn. You see where the uh, boot is in Italy right there on the top left? Right here? The boot. It's right up in that area, though. But it's the boot of Italy. Yeah, I see it. Right here. Right. Okay, now, the middle, that's the Middle East right there, directly to the right, uh, I mean, the left of the red. Yeah. Right. That's the, this is going now. You're going over to Turkey and all over in there, Macedonia and all that shit. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's under that. You got India in the middle, and mm-hmm. then you got um, Asia. That's China. All that's China over there. Mm-hmm. All right. And where you see the uh, to the left, you can see the uh, the Red Sea. Mm-hmm. Um, the Gulf, the Persian Gulf over there to the left, mm-hmm. and then you can see Egypt, mm-hmm. right? That in that Egypt. Now, years ago, everything that you see south of the Mediterranean that was all Egypt, going into India. India used to be Eastern Ethiopia, mm-hmm. right? Okay, let's go to the next picture. Okay. The next one gonna be the uh the Huns. We already seen them, so we're gonna we're gonna skip the ones we already did. Okay. So these is the people they kidnapping and using the servants to bring over here to conquer and to use them. Here we go. We're getting there now. You see what that say? Yeah, dolls that. Yeah, see where it say Indian land? Did it show him eating the ground? Yeah. Okay, now we about to get into the dog's role. Let's go, let's go, let's go, young Gelder. What the people saying in the comments? I can't see them. Man, they saying game over. They saying, man, this shit is on fire. This We the hottest niggas in the game right now. That's what they said. All right, let's go to the top of this picture because this picture right here important. Okay. See it? Dawes Act to 1887. Now, we 100 years in to the war contract mm-hmm. from 1776. All right? So, it implied Indian ways were inferior to white ways. Now, remember, when they talking about white people, they're not talking about pale-skinned Europeans. They talk about European nobility who came over here as Etruscan Moors, as conquistadors, as Frenchmen, Englishmen, and Dutch. Mm-hmm. Well, you got to always remember that. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, we under the impression, based on the way that they lead us to believe the term white man mean, that they talk about a pale skin like this dude sitting here. Mm-hmm. Right? But this is not what they're talking about. It said... The Dawes uh, role was aimed to bring Indians into mainstream of American life by making them live like the white man. Mm -hmm. And so it's trying to make you be something that you not. Okay, go ahead. You going in. That's out the gate. It's telling you that right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what's the next one? The Indian resisted. That's a standalone statement. Mm-hmm. The Indians resisted. Mm-hmm. All right. Now you look at his name. It's uh, Senator Henry, Henry Dawes. Dawes. That's who the Dawes role was named after. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Got the ass. Somebody in the hey, somebody in the comments say Rod Hayes. Rod Hayes, get these niggas, man. Get these niggas, man. Okay, now, let's go over this. What was the 1887 Dawes Severalty Act? Go ahead. Right? Now, it said the Dawes Act granted the president authority to divide up native lands into individual allotments. Land was placed in trust for 25 years. 
Hmm. Excess land could be bought by the federal government and sold to nine natives. 1902, the Dead Indian Act. This is what makes you a straw man right here. Mm -hmm. 1902. Now, this is all under the Dawes Road. Keep it in mind. Go ahead. All right. The 1902 Dead Indian Act allowed natives to sell inherited land even if still in trust status. Think, think about that for a minute. Mm. You you can't sell trust if you're a trustee. Mm -hmm. All right. As many natives were impoverished, the sale of land provided income to live. Mm -hmm. Now look at the name of that. The Dead Indian Act. Damn. Right? First of all, the term Indian is a misnomer. I mean, a false name. Okay? Followed by the Burke Act of 1904, authorized Secretary of the Interior to determine competency of landowners. Now, remember, we were talking about three-fifth compromise, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about five-dollar Indians, and this is how we become compromised to the three-fifth scenario. Mm -hmm. Authorized Secretary of the Interior to determine competency of landowners. Mm -hmm. If competent, the land was distributed out of the trust mm -hmm. and then taxed. If incompetent, land could be sold without the owner's consent. Mm. Okay, now let's read the other side. Go back to the top. The Dawes Act subsequent legislation decimated native land holdings and failed to spur natives to assimilate into American culture. Its failure is the, among the many broken U.S. promises that ultimately devastated native culture. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what else it say. Native land holds are now showing you what's called a pie chart. 48 million acres remained by 1934. Native land holdings were reduced by 90 million acres because of the Dawes Act. They keep telling me they stole our land, but I, every time I look out my window, I swear I should still sitting here under our feet. <laughs> Got them. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, now that's history chart on the Dawes Road and related acts. Now look, notice Cherokee freedmen enrollment. Muskoka. That word in the middle is important. Free man. Do you know what that means? No. Like that means that people. you are a more of status classified as a free white person in law. You are classified then under the term of freed man in the jurisdiction of the de facto corporation. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different people. Mm -hmm. See where it say Cherokee? Mm -hmm. That name was made up to facilitate what we're about to read. Damn, go ahead. That's not our original name, but that's the name they gave us in order to commission the five civilized tribes. Okay. Right? Okay, so now we're going into Mus Muscogee Indian Territory. Okay. From April the 1st, 1902, until May 31st. Now, you see, this is an ongoing process. It didn't happen in one day. Yeah. Because remember, the Dawes Road started in the 1880s. Now we are 20-something years later. They're still working on stealing our shit. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. It's a inclusive for the purpose of hearing rebuttal and supplemental testimony with respect to the enrollment of Cherokee freed men. That's a double motherfucking negative. Mm-hmm. That you can't be a Cherokee freed man. All right. Because you have to change your status to a freed man as an indenture in order to become a free white person in law, meaning that you had to get from under your uh, servitude commission by the people that brought you over here. Mm -hmm. Notice is hereby given to all freedmen listed as doubtful claimants that may, after May 3rd, 31st, 1902, 
their case will be considered as completed and will be finally decided by the commission and reported to the Secretary of the Interior for his approval. Native Cherokees, now you see the comma? Yeah, yeah. Freed men, you see the comma? Yeah, separate. Right, or now, or that's, okay, this is all, this is separate from both of them. Claimants by adoption who have not already appeared can apply for enrollment July 1902. You see the word adoption? Yeah, right. I what does that mean? It means that they added it on or, or, or dropped, drafted it in. Right. So if it's a claimant by adoption, that means that you claiming that somebody in the tribe adopted you and gave you some kind of birthright. Yeah, still not birthright. Yeah, cool. Go ahead. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next one. We just showing them because they say we don't have no receipts, Elder, but they don't want to talk about this shit we're talking about now. Get these cataracts. Paying to play here, Indian. Right? Read this. This is paying to play Indian. Look, look what it say. Paying to play Indian. Damn. The dog's rolls and the legacy of five dollar Indians. Paying a commission five dollars can get an opportunistic so-called white person on the dog's roll 125 years ago, which mm. still causes problems for tribes today. Damn. It may be fashionable to play Indian now, but it was also trendy 125 years ago when people paid $5 a piece for falsified documents declaring them native on the dog's roll. They already know it's fake. It's say it right here. Damn. Falsified documents, $5 a piece, 125 yeah. years ago, declaring them native on the dog's roll. Let's go. We're going to get into some more of this shit. These, These so-called $5 Indians pay government agents under the table in order to reap the benefits that came with having Indian blood. Mainly, so-called white men with an appetite for land, $5 Indians pay to register on the dog's roll, earning fraudulent enrollment in tribes along with benefits inherited by generations to come. Damn. These were opportunistic so-called white men who wanted access to land and food rations, said Gregory Smithers, associate professor of history at Virginia Commonwealth University. These were people who were more than happy to exploit the Dawes Commission and government agents for five dollars, were willing to turn a blind eye to the graft and corruption. You see that word graft? Yeah, that's now that's that's you might go in on a little on that, man. Okay, go on, don't go nowhere. Stop. We're gonna look at that for a minute. Go back, go back, go back. We're going back. Okay, now it's say and the government is say for five dollars, we're willing to turn a blind eye Damn. to the graft and corruption. Who is the who's grafted? Right. Like who's black, like who's devil. And if he's the devil, wouldn't that automatically make him corrupt? Yeah. Why? How do we know this? What do we say in the book? He, you are he, not of my father, you are your father. He was a murderer from the beginning yeah, and a yeah. liar, and there's no truth in him. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's keep going. Get these niggas right. Somebody in the crowd in the chat put get these niggas right. The Dawes Commission mission established in 1894 to the enforce the General Allotment Act of 1887 or the Dawes Act was charged with convincing tribes to cede their land to the United States and divide remaining land into individual allotments. In other words, separate the unity. Look at this. Look at this carefully, y'all. The Dawes Commission, established in 1893 to enforce the General Allotment Act of 1887, or the Dawes Act, was charged with convincing tribes 
to cede their land to the United States, which is a corporation, it's a de facto, not a de jure, and divide remaining land into individual allotments. It's only one problem with this, Elder. Go ahead. In the Jubilee year, and I think 2022 was a Jubilee year, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the Jubilee year, at the close of the age, I think we're going out of Pisces into Aquarius. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So if it's a, a Jubilee year at the close of an age, and at the closing of the age, everything reverts back to who it belonged to at the beginning of the age. Mm -hmm. Under the Jubilee forgiveness of our debt. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, it's important that y'all looking at this. The Dawes Commission established in 1893 to enforce the General Allotment Act of 1887. The word that's operative at this point is enforce. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Mm -hmm. Enforce. To, to, to make your ass. You ain't, you ain't got no other choice. Right. Bow. Bow. Or, you know, take it like a man. Take it up the, you know. Yeah. So was charged, that means that they was given power mm -hmm. to convince the tribe by what method, though? By, we're going to kill your ass and you'll take your kids <laughs> if you don't have to do what we tell you to do. Tell right. You. So they want us to give our land up and break it up into individual allotments. That's so that they can divide it up and sell it up, uh, off our property under our feet. Mm -hmm. The commission also required Indians to claim membership in only one tribe and register on the Dawes Road what the government meant to be a definitive record of individuals with Indian blood. This is going to come back up when we listen to Chief Warhorse in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I okay. ask you a question right here? Huh? Can I ask you a question? Does this 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 tie in with, with the... Uh, I know it's probably going to come up probably, but does this tie in with the Andrew Jackson... Indian yep. because Andrew, yep, exactly, one hundred percent. Andrew Jackson was declaring people chiefs. Mm -hmm. Can you hold this and go to open up a Google page? I want you I to look somebody you. up. Hold on, uh, make sure I don't do it. Okay, let's go right here. Mm. Look up Chief White Wolf. I got him already in your folder. Hold up. I got him in your folder. Yeah, I knew you was gonna probably say something about him, so I got his ass. Somebody say, Rod, get these niggas, man. Talking about this nigga right here, right? Mm-hmm. You show sure don't worry, that's him. Yeah. He was he was supposed to have like a tenth native blood or some bullshit, but he was declared the chief by a uh uh, about a political figurehead. I think it was Andrew Jackson, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. who was declaring these motherfuckers chiefs. Mm -hmm. No, nobody over here ever looked at like that. John Smith. Now, was this a John? Was this a damn John Smith that was going out to Pocahontas? It could have been. More than likely, it was. Mm -hmm. Remember, he didn't even come from over here. The guy that was out there—that's uh, his show. Who it is? But in the story of Pocahontas, he came from Europe. Yeah, he did. He came from Europe. Dog how niggas the, was in Europe. How the fuck you get to be the chief? Exactly. That nigga face jacked up, man. Blow it up so they can see that motherfucker face. Nigga, they man. need to see this motherfucker face. Blow this nigga up. <laughs> Hold on, blow this nigga up, bro. Boy. He like it. He like he could be had like he's skelly out of skelly type. Reptilian type face. Look at this man. Dog. That motherfucker looked like he got whooped in the face with an ugly stick. Man, he got beat bad. But he got, but he, Look, why he so damn black with that white straight hair like this. He ain't black. What is he burnt? <laughs> burnt. Look, that's why his nose looked like that from being burned and exposed to the sun, and he can't take it. Oh yeah, his okay. nose has got calluses. Go ahead, oh. you can see it. You can see it. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. You can see that he got this. He 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 gets sunburned. 
Son, yeah, you. so this his story, this picture right here, he's supposed to be like a hundred and something years old. Okay. <coughs> that's that's another reason too. He a hundred or something. Yeah, but black don't crack. No, nah, black don't crack like this though. My grandma was a hundred and something. She ain't look like this. Mm-hmm. Anybody here know people know where that motherfucker come from. Uh-huh. Yeah, All right, let's get back to the, let's get back to the post. We got some more dogs roll reading to do. Uh, yeah, I like this. I like the, your post on your page. You got some good shit. All right, let's roll that back, baby. That pull back up for you. Where were we? Where were we? Hold on, we were right here. All right. Keep going. Keep going. That's just a commercial. The Curtis Act, passed in 1898, targeted the five civilized tribes. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. They call these the five civilized tribes, and they changing the names. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, Specifically, Cherokee and Seminole. Seminole should be uh, Gullah or Gullah Getchee. Mm-hmm. And Cherokee is a whole nother word. I can so I can't even pronounce that shit right now because I ain't, I'm not my mind ain't over there. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> the Curtis Act passed in 1898 targeted the five civilized tribes, forcing them to accept allotments and register on the doll roll. Now here's the key thing: it say to accept allotments. What do that mean? To accept a, a, a reservation, I think. Absolutely. See, so they was moving to put five dollar Indians on reservations using this system. Mm-hmm. Okay, say so the two acts which came. Scroll down. Yes, During the period of murky social context, see what that say? Mm-hmm. Murky social context. Look, these niggas will be wearing some shit, man. Right now, not clear. I mean, it's not clear. It's not a clear, right? Decisive, uh, you know. All right, now look, this is where the murky social context come in. After the Civil War, when white and so-called black men were intermarrying with Native American women, aimed to help the government keep track of real Indians, Mm -hmm. while accelerating efforts to assimilate Indian people into so-called white culture, Mm -hmm. right? So this is what murky the waters, the one drop of blood doctrine, the great melding pot. Everybody giving up a drop of blood and then they all coming together to try to confuse the genetics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going, we ain't done. By 1865, African-Americans and white Americans were moving into the Midwest, into the Indian and Oklahoma territories all vying for some patch of land that they could call their own and live out their Jeffersonian view of independence. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Scroll down. Let's see what's, let's read some more. Yes. He said the federal government poured a lot of effort and energy into the Dawes Commission, but at the same time, it was very hard for both Native and American governments to keep track of who was who. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Now, this is important when we get to the Trail of Tears. Okay. Okay. The Dawes Commission set up tents in Indian Territory. They told us that we lived in teepees. Yeah. Get the hell out of here with that shit. Go ahead. Look, go back to Google for a minute. We're going to come back to this page, but we're going to go to Google and type in... um, um, Huns tents, H U N apostrophe S tents, and then go to images. Uh, okay, <laughs> they look like these right here, though. <laughs> Like these right here, I know. 
kind of like these. Those modern tents. Yeah, but they they like the old ones. They Put look, in ancient in front of it. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Let me do it like that. So there you go, right here, like this kind, right here. Mm -hmm. The more the, the the richer guys had like a more of a nice one though, but like the, like the kings and shit. Mm -hmm. But this is the same thing as those. We uh, didn't live in tents, but I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But first, yeah. we going we looking at these tents now. Take out hun and put in Mongol. All right. All right, it's the Mongol. Let me say these in my that photo. Damn. Mm -hmm. That Cause one I'm, you clicked on have a Sri Yantra on the front. Because I'm putting a book together called Young Elder and the Raw Haynes book. Uh, mm -hmm. stuff go over. And I'm going into more detail on it. Hey, look, easy. you know what's out cold? Motherfuckers be talking about, I remember a lot of stuff. All this shit come from Baba, um, Elijah Muhammad, Noble Drali, and the government. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is a good one right here. And the, the same people was building those uh, igloos. Those igloos. That, with the ice. Yeah. But they also got teepees. Mm -hmm. um, they also got uh, nomadic tents. Uh, that they carried around with them that wasn't so big, mm -hmm. and those are the ones that they said was our TPs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was only for traveling, right? For these people that traveled when they were traveling, mm -hmm. going to battle people, right? Because yeah. all of the Huns, the Huns and the Mongols were nomads. They was always on the on the go. They didn't set up farming um, camps. They call it a jir, also called yura. It's a mongol a yurk. A yurk. Uh, is a mongoloid tent home. Imagine living in a home that looked like a piece of candy. A Hersey's kiss, but it's nine feet high, fifteen feet round. Actually, a jir might look rather odd, but they were very comfortable. So it's the mongoloid. Uh, let me blow right. So they can fold their house up and go and leave at any given time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, let's get back to the business of hand. We, we can go back to that later on. We're going to pull up a, a, a TP from over there, an uh, Asian TP. Okay. All right, so the Dawes Commission set up tents in Indian territory, right? This is somebody named Bill Welch, direct, Director Emeritus of the Oklahoma Historical Society Office of American Indian Culture and Preservation. Damn, hold up. I want to freeze up while we're doing it. Hold up. There you go. My bad. There you go. Okay. It's a, um, their field clerks scoured written records. Scroll down. Okay. Took oral testimony. Remember, we do everything orally anyway. Yeah. And generated enrollment cards for individuals determined to have Indian blood. Now, remember, they didn't have blood tests back yeah. then. Yeah. How the fuck they know who got Indian blood? Right. Right. Yeah, keep that in mind because they make it sound like they could just run a blood test like they can now, pull your DNA and say, oh, you you Chickasaw, you Choctaw, you Cherokee, you yeah, Ojibwe, right. right? They couldn't do that back then. So look what they're doing. They took oral testimony <laughs> and scoured written record. Yeah. Right? All right, now, that's good. That included authentic Indians how they know they're authentic? They're right. Yeah. They de they de declaring them authentic under the Dawes Roll. Mm -hmm. But it also included lots of people with questionable heritage. Mm -hmm. And you see it, and they already know this shit that I'm telling y'all. So yeah. this is not a secret. Commissioners took advantage of their positions and enrolled people who had very minimal or questionable connections to the tribes. 
they were not adverse to taking money under the table. Look what you it. say? What you say? Big what mama. you say? These mu they, they, they can't be doing that. Look at this eight. Index the final roles of citizens and freed men of the five civilized tribes in Indian territory prepared by the commission and commissioner. Big Smalls, the commission. American Indian removal policy in the Trail yeah. of Tears. Now we now we getting good. Andrew Jackson policy led to a shameful episode in US history. And this is who we talking about. The nigga on a $20 bill. That's why I don't like 20s, man. That's why I don't like 20s right there. I don't like 20s. Well, I spend the shit out the motherfuckers. I don't, <laughs> put, I don't plan on putting nothing up in no frame, no way. <laughs> right. All right, now look. The American Indian removal policy of President Andrew Jackson was prompted by the desire of so-called white settlers in the South to expand into lands belonging to the five indigenous tribes. <clears throat> After Jackson succeeded in pushing the Indian Removal Act through Congress in 1830, the U.S. government spent nearly 30 years forcing indigenous people to move westward beyond the Mississippi River. This is the Trail of Tears. Exactly, exactly. That's what, I, that's what we're talking about. But that's going to come back up because that's part of the biblical contract. Mm hmm In the most notorious example of this policy, more than 15,000 members of the Cherokee tribes were forced to walk from their homes in southern states to a designated territory in present-day Oklahoma in 1838. Now, this is before the Dawes Road. Mm -hmm. Right? Damn. Many died along the way. The forced relocation became known as the Trail of Tears because of the great hardship faced by Cherokees. In brutal conditions, nearly 4,000 Cherokee died on the Trail of Tears. Mm -hmm. Go back up and look how long this took place. Look how long this was going on. Go back up. <clears throat> Go back up right here. Right there. They spent nearly 30 years forcing indigenous people Damn. to move westward beyond the Mississippi. Damn. Right? Now, where do this happen somewhere in the Bible? Don't this happen somewhere in the Bible? Somebody was traveling around for 30, 40 years because they ain't had no homeland? The Israelites. Where was they coming from? They were coming from ancient Kenan. Mm -hmm. Who was they following? Who they follow Moses. <laughs> okay, and Elijah Muhammad said Moses did what? Uh, go ahead. I, I can't remember. Elijah Muhammad said Moses was the one that was sent to civilize the so-called pale man. Yeah, okay, yeah, to put the boat. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm with remember, you. Remember, he said Moses had to sleep in the ring of fire because yep. they were so right. savage they might eat him in his sleep. Right. Go ahead. That's right. Right? Yeah. Now, in here is 30 years. The biblical uh, stories say 40 years. Okay. So it was a 40 years sojourn. Okay. Right? So this 30 years take us to 1860. 40 years take us to 1870, um, about 12 years before the Dawes Roll Act. Mm -hmm. Right? So from 1830 to the Dawes Roll, Okay, go over to Google and pull Dawes roll up again. We got to get the exact year again. I got you. Boom. We hitting it. We in the zone right now. YouTube, hit that like button if you're in the building, man. We got 558 people in this joint, man. Everybody hit that like button for us, man. Are you seeing any questions come about what we're talking about in the comments? Uh, yeah, we got a couple questions. Uh, we're going to take questions in about another five minutes because we're going to get off at 1030. Then uh, we'll come back tomorrow if we have to on this subject because uh, this is oh, Tomorrow I got Brother Rich. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Black yeah, Magic 63. At what time are you doing that one? Uh, I think 930. Okay. All right. Man.
narcissistic. Man, bro. What you pulling up? I can't see that. I'm pulling up the dolls roll, but it, it, like my, my shit was sticking. Don't let me type in uh there you go right here. It's uh the the year is uh 1898. Uh hold up. Hold on, let me go back. Let me go back just find out. Okay. The Dawes Roll, also known as the Final Roll, are listed individuals who accepted eligible tribe membership in the five digitous tribes, Cherokee, Creek, Chattai, Chickasaw, and Seminole. It does not include those who application was stricken, rejected, or judged to be doubt as doubtful. Pirates some dog-skinned people, right? Real Indians tried to file, and they got shot down, right? Those found eligible for the Final Roll were entitled to Along, we just had read that, right? Allotments of land, uh, usually as a homestead. Mm -hmm. The role could con contain more than 100,000, 101,000 names from 1898 to 1914, primarily from 18. Okay, we, we're just looking for the year right now, Elder, the year that it was passed again. So you go back to the main page, the year shouldn't be hard to find. It should be right yeah, here. Right here. Okay, oh, I got it. Hold up. Oh, I got you. I got you. It's all uh, the year is eighteen ninety three. Okay, so from eighteen thirty to eighteen ninety three, that's further than forty years of sojourn, waiting to have a reservation. Yeah, yeah. Right, actually, sixty three years, ain't? It? Yeah, yeah. It says from from eighteen ninety three all the way up into. Oh, it's a long time. Hold up. I thought it was first passed in the 1880s. Hold up. Like, let me make sure this right here is right. It says right here, 1893. Hold up. What year? Okay. Uh, 1887 is the date. Okay. Now that's more, that's more closer to the, to the date I was thinking. All right, the 18. So that's that's 47 years still though. That's that's the 40 year sojourn of the so-called Israelites. Yeah. Now this is now remember, while this is going on, let's go back to my Google page. I mean my, my Facebook. Okay. So while this is going on, the Indian Removal Act, right? <clears throat> they marching across the land, but this is supposed to be coming from the south. Mm-hmm. Anybody that know basic American history know that the South was about 90% melanated us. Mm -hmm. So where did these pale people come from in the South? Exactly. They couldn't have been there. So uh, we gonna go to where they come from in the next one. We just reviewing Dawes Road now, right? So <clears throat> scroll down, let's, let's read some more. Mm -hmm. There have been conflicts between whites and indigenous people since the first so-called white settlers arrived in North America. But in the early 1800s, the issue had come down to the so-called white settlers encroaching on the indigenous lands in the southern United States. Now, here go the problem. Mm -hmm. Go back to uh, Martin Luther King mm -hmm. talking about the mechanizing of the firm. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. now, <clears throat> he's telling you what was going on during this period right here. This is a period of time he's talking about when they begin to mechanize the firms and they hired us to teach the so called uh, settlers how to farm the land. Mm -hmm. All of the indigenous people know that we had to teach the people that came to the land how to farm because none of them knew how to work the unique land that was over here better than we did. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, five indigenous tribes were located on land. Notice they specify on land. Mm -hmm. That would be highly sought for settlement. Mm -hmm. 
especially as was prime land for the cultivation of cotton. The tribes on the land were the Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw Creek, and Seminole. Mm -hmm. Right? Over time, the tribes in the South tended to adopt the so-called white ways, such as taking up farming in the tradition of white settlers, which they didn't, we taught them how to farm. This mm -hmm. is a known <laughs> historical fact that all of us know without even asking who taught the so-called pale people how to farm. Remember the um, Mayflower came, they was dying of starvation because they didn't know how to That's cultivate right. food. That's right. Right. So in some cases, even buying and owning enslaved black people, hmm, they got to throw that in there, right? They had to put that out for now. I like that right there. I see what the problem is here. I'm talking English and you listening and dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. might look calm, but I just slapped you in my head three times. <laughs> <laughs> That's how <clears throat> Okay. In fact, settlers hungry for land were actually dismayed to see these tribes, contrary to all the grotesque propaganda about them being savages, adopted mm. the farming practice, practices of white Americans. Yeah, this, right. is, this don't even make sense. This is not yeah. even possible. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> right? But this is the story, the narrative they've given us. So we're going to work with it. The accelerated desire to relocate indigenous people to the West was a consequence of the election of Andrew Jackson in 1828. Jackson had a long complicated history with indigenous tribes having grown up in frontier settlements where stories of attacks by them were common. Uh. Right? Now, before we go any further, we need to hear Chief Warhorse. Let's go. So can you uh, open up another page to no. open up that uh, that second uh, post I sent you? Hey, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're in the building. Hit that bell. If you don't receive a notification from us, come back every day, man. We got something dropping every day for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got something dropping every day, bro. We dropping number bangers. Young of the gang in the building. We hey, young of the bangers. Yep. So remember, we was going to bring this up anyway, so I figured this might be a good time while you're looking for that. So um, the question on... Haley Selassie and the relation to Enlil, mm -hmm. right? Now, I remember Baba did that scroll called is Haley Selassie the Christ? Yeah. And you remember he went through his whole genealogy in there and he went back like a long way back. Yeah. Right? So why did Pops do that? Go ahead. He, You got to know Haley Selassie, not a Jew. Okay. Yeah, that's right. If he ain't a Jew, he want us. Then when you say Jew, uh, are you referring to the fake Jews? Uh, they, they are fake Jews. Look, all of the Jews, the Jews is the children of um, in, uh, Enlil. Yeah. Right? They looking for a homeland on Earth. We ain't giving them shit. Hey, I don't think you sent me the one on... Uh... I just sent it to you. It's a oh, post. It? Oh, it's a okay. post on Facebook on my other, um, on the second post I sent you. I wanted you to open up a new page and open that um, that second post because it got like three or four videos in it. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Let me save it to this uh, video then. Then I can, I can pull it up. That's what I thought you had did. No, I just did the first one. Let me do the second one with that now. Oh, uh, yeah. Hit that like button. Somebody in the comments say, Rod, get these niggas, man. Get these niggas, man. You see what we doing? Ain't nobody dropping it like us. We telling you real deal, holy real, baby. Can you dig it? We give you the straight up, we straight in your face with it. We raw and uncut. This that straight raw for your nose, baby. It's that straight raw for your nose right here, bro. Hey, look, they actually looking at how we really do 
research. It's just that I already know all this shit. I'm just had to go back and get uh, references since no, since I don't have no receipts to show people exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the reason why the Killian Me popped up is because my son be watching that shit on my YouTube uh, page. I make yeah, we ain't real okay nothing about that shit, Elder. Uh, yeah, 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 but it's all good. That's what they say. Favorite little show though. At least it wasn't pornography shit. No, no, no. They that's all they watch. <laughs> right, let me get it. You want me to play the videos, right? Uh, you want to play the uh, the, the uh, hold on, let me just pull it up right here first. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, here we go. You can, you can start right here. Okay, enslaving an identity among the Cherokee. That's what you call a uh, base relief. Okay, sculpture. Now you notice. If you look, one of the dudes all the way to the left, uh, he got nappy hair, and the rest of them got straight hair. Yeah. Oh, and the one all the one on the right too got nappy hair. Yeah. The institution of slavery in the United States long pre predates the enslaved African trade. By but by the late 1700s, the practice of enslaving people by Southern indigenous nations, the Cherokee in particular, had taken hold as their interactions with Euro Americans increased. Hmm. Today's Cherokee still, oh, you went too fast. Oh, damn, damn, my bad, damn. Go ahead. Where we at? Uh, Still, right here. Today's Cherokee still grapple with the troubling legacy of enslavement in their nation with the freedmen dispute. You see where it say that freedman dispute? Yeah, dispute. That's that freedman word again. I remember I, I got mm-hmm. the now. I'm gonna go do some research on that joint. Go ahead. Because mm-hmm. that's why a lot of them would name, change their last name to Freeman. They added a D in there, like free. Yep. Like the like like they were slaves and they got freed. That's, that's how they. That's how they. Right, were. but it really don't mean that. It really mean they changed their status. Okay. Because they realized that they came over here as conquistadors. And they could exercise their status as a free white person in law. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a scholarship on enslavement in the Cherokee Nation typically focuses on analyzing the circumstances that help to explain it, often describing a less brutal form of enslavement, an idea some scholars debate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? <clears throat> Roll down. Mm-hmm. Okay, this Chief Warhorse. Damn, I wonder why it's sideways like this. It Same might flip. Officer might... Thomas, Category 5, still sitting on shore, beating up on us. Okay. So then I have Andrew Jackson. Can there be a Category 10? Yeah. Okay, because back to ranking, he's a 10. He's still oh, beating yeah. on us. Yes. Yeah. None of these European storms have moved. <laughs> At least Katrina hit ashore, did the damage, and moved on. These categories continue to beat today. I wish it was drum beats, but it's not. It's not something you can dance to. It's something that you have to duck and dodge and constantly try to stay out of the way of the debris that it blow. Is that a good way to describe it? Excellent. Some of the debris that these categories have blew up on us, yes, you can help. All right, so that's one. Several clips. Like you said, you was in an engagement the other day and you you exposed some things that was it. No, that's better right there. Been rejected by this, but it, it was the truth. And this is what you have been doing. People are looking at it now in a different way. And I'm glad you said about the time and era. Some people were ashamed to even say there was Native American again, especially living in an African-American community because then they told me they was looked upon as being a traitor or trying to be something that they were not. But then they knew their grandmother was an Indian. And some of these callers, when they called me, I explained to them that what, what we're looking at here is a denial that is coming from the inside now, not from the outside. And we need to challenge United States 
on that. Mm -hmm. And the United States need to answer us on that. How can I be one drop Indian, okay, mm -hmm. and be 99 drops European, and I can be classified as an Indian versus I can. Wow, that's some good clips, right? Do one more. Play the next one. Yeah, I watched the whole Those video. Those are put together you clip, you clip underneath Andrew pieces. Jackson and underneath the Indian rights law. Uh, I'm trying to get the last one. I'm talking about indigenous Indians who picked up the name Indian uh, as a tag by Europeans. Just like nigger. Thank you. That's right. And by giving us that tag, you stole our real identity. There's a swap took place. And that's my point, too. Excuse me. That is my point. I don't know if I made that clear when I made that little statement in the beginning. When I hear my people of color say, I have Indian in me, that's why my reaction is like it is, really. Well, why don't you find out about that? Because United States are fixed if we, you know, our people. Okay. So you see, she classified Andrew Jackson. As a hurry, as a hurricane. category ten yeah. hurricane yeah. that came to our shores and wreaked havoc to this day, mm -hmm. right? Remember, we were just talking about Andrew Jackson and his uh, involvement in the Indians Removal Act, mm -hmm. right? So the reason why I wanted y'all to hear Chief Warhorse because I'm not the only one been saying this. She's been saying this shit for years. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump, everybody. Uh, Dave Calloway talk about it. Yeah. Okay, now let's go back and read some more of the paperwork. We're going to take some questions and then we're going to come back and then I'm going to explain to y'all how these $5 Indians were replaced. Well, you can see it now. If you see what was taking place, you can see how they used them to usurp who we were. Mm-hmm. And who we are. They saying that they stole our land. My argument is every time I look out my goddamn window, I still see my motherfucking land. Right. <laughs> so my thing is this is how is you holding on to my land in this Jubilee year? It's not going to happen because there's a new sheriff in town and they call him Judge Dredd. Yeah. The Dreaded Judge. Mm -hmm. Right. So since y'all want to be uh, all up in somebody's business, pretending that we somebody that we not, we going to show y'all who the fuck we is by reclaiming what's rightfully ours according to the laws of nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I seen the clip of the elder the other day. <clears throat> he said, when everything else fails, go back to nature because nature answers all things. Mm -hmm. What the fuck he mean by that, elder? We're right. Go back to nature because nature answers all things. Because it, where, when you look for the question, the answer is always right there with the question, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And not only that, nature operates by something called might. <clears throat> might is universal law, overrides all the man's law. Right. So by instituting the laws of might, we fall back on what we call pharaonic rule. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All pharaohs these, uh, were seated and swore to rule by the laws of might so they don't become a tyrant to the people or to their community at large. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So when they take the oath to follow the laws of might, that means be no respect to a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No big eyes, no little U's. You give everybody what they got coming according to the laws of righteousness. If you earned it, you earned it. Give it to you. Good, bad, or indifferent. It does not matter. You get what you earn and live and your bitch ass kids. Mm -hmm. Dirty ass motherfucking moors. We see you, black devils. Mm -hmm. Ain't no doubt about it. <clears throat> All right, so where we at? Jackson had been allied with indigenous peoples, but had also waged brutal campaigns against them. Look, wait a minute, look what just happened. At various times in his military career, Andrew Jackson had been allied with indigenous people, but yep. also waged brutal campaigns against him. 
His Thank attitude you. toward indigenous tribes was not unusual for the time, though by today's standard, he would be considered a racist, as he believed tribal members to be, scroll down now, inferior to so-called whites. Jackson also believed them to be like children who needed guidance. What well, that's an imbecile, right? In a legal standpoint. Yeah, yeah, uh, ignorant. I mean, it's, uh, it's called uh, incompetent. Right. Incompetent in law can they classify you as an imbecile. Mm -hmm. A ward of the state. Ward of the a, war, a ward of the state. And by that way of thinking, Jackson may well have believed that forcing indigenous peoples to move hundreds of miles westward may have been for their own good since he believed they would never fit in with a white society. What? I'm what? just reading the shit. I didn't write it. Of course, these indigenous people, not to mention sympathetic so-called white people ranging from religious figures in the North to the backwoods hero turned God Congressman Davy Crockett saw things differently. Now you see, stop, stop, stop. You got something important that we can't, can't overlook. You see where it say sympathetic so-called white. white people yeah, ranging from religious figures in the north. What did the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. Wait, what is he talking about if it wasn't no white folks that like that much up in there? Okay, now go to an open Google yeah, page. Black shows. niggas that was on the white, free white people because they're not a status. Right. Mm -hmm. No, no, don't, don't move. We're going to mm -hmm. come back to this. Okay, we're back. Go, go to Google. I'll go to Google. All right, what you got? And ask the question, what year did Quakers settle in the Americas? <clears throat> we need to know what we did to lead it, so we can, um, Huh? 1650s. What was the Quakers' relationship to the natives? Uh, missionary for arrival to they was like religious uh practices. Uh, you gotta ask, ask Google. Well, Google gonna tell you. That's what it said right here. It says Quaker missionaries first arrived to America in the 19, 1650s. Quakers were practicing perficial myth. I can't say that. It's like a fucking some kind I of I can't even see it, so I know sense uh, to say pack fish, pack fish. Play a key role in both of the abolishment of women's rights movement. Hold up. Hold on. 1656. Hold on. Okay, I hear you go right here. 1656 is when the Quakers. All right, it says Quakers are members of a Christian religion movement that started in England as a form of uh, Protestants. Protestants. And the Protestants. Yeah, Protestants in the 17th century. And has spread it through North America, Central America, Africa, Australia. Some Quakers originally came to America to spread the belief of British colonialism, of British colonists. There were other came to escape persecution they experienced in Europe. And I bet that was from the Roman Catholic Church, the first known Quaker Exactly. The Roman Catholic Church was everybody in Europe was trying to escape the grips. Of the Roman Catholic Man, Church, because that was the reign too. Taking niggas down. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Okay, so when they talk about religious leaders from the north, mm -hmm. right? Ask who was Springfield, Illinois named after? All right, who was Springfield, Illinois? <coughs> President Abraham Lincoln. Oh, what the fuck? Abraham Lincoln was was so called born there. Okay. Uh, let's get these niggas, man. 
It says Senator. Uh, hold up. John Kelly. No. Hold up. This is, this is a fall out of favor with the public in Spring and Self Springfield. Hold on, I'm trying to find what it was named after. Uh, originally named the president, John. Hold on, no, Senator Vice President, originally named John. Maybe you go to the Springfield, Illinois, and then look on with President John C. Hunt, uh, Calhoun. No, because it's, it's Springfield ain't nowhere in his name. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It says, <laughs> it says originally named. Stop, 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 stop. Go mm -hmm. up there, erase that, put in Springfield, Illinois, and then go to the wiki page. All right, guys. Good look, good look, good look. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's do it, baby. All right, here we go. So, da, 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 da. residents of Springfield will sell the European. Da, da, da. You can look in the um, vitals box over there on the right, scroll down, and it'll tell you his name down. At least it'll tell you who settled it, but somebody's name going to be Springfield. Yeah, it says uh Sellers originally named the community after Calhoun. Calhoun after Senator John Cat C. Calhoun. So Carolina uh the first cabin was built John Kelly. Hold up. So yeah, trying to find it. It says uh Damn, man. Come on. Let me see it, baby. What's up? Baby, you going to make me pull up the Simpsons. Yeah, right? Springfield. That's what that, that's what the Simpsons is about, right? Jebediah Springfield. The dude is a, is a Quaker that is named after. I'm surprised it ain't popping up a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to find. I don't even see his name. You see that blue box on the left right there? Go up, son. Yeah, you right see here. that right there? Yeah. Do it. Okay, read through there and see if it's safe because it's too little for me to see where the name. No, it don't say nothing. That's what I was looking at. It don't say nothing of, uh, about nothing. Uh, not, not the one on the right. The one on the left. Yeah, the left. It don't say nothing about it, man. Mm. Yeah. But uh, okay, Lake Springfield and all that ain't it. Uh. Damn. They just keep on talking about President fucking Calhoun. Uh, whatever his name is. Yeah, that's not his name. Uh, what okay. year was it chartered? 18... Uh, let's see. It's over here. 1830... 1840. Who was 1840. February 3rd, 1840. Do it say who chartered it? Uh, let's see. Can I get that? Charter, 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 charter. No, that's just telling you what the charter is. Okay, no, nah. okay, it, it don't say who chartered, but the mayor was Jim Land Feathers. Feathers. Okay, so um, pull up Springfield <clears throat> Monument. You see it right there? Oh, okay, let me go back. Right here? Yeah, that, yeah that's the monument. No, that's the, that's the state building. The monument is over by that somewhere. I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it neither. Okay, we'll, we'll do this when we come back on the follow-up. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's about time for me to get off now because I got to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about to that point right now. All right, well, let's take let's take about five questions and wrap it up. All right. Uh, if you got questions for the brother Rod Hayes, Drop them in the chat right now. And make sure there's some good questions. Don't ask no questions, the stuff we already went over. I mean, well, you can ask questions, whatever you want, really. But I'm just saying, just ask some good ones. So we can, we need five good ones before we get up out of here, man. I thought the Simpsons was, uh, you can't. Uh, uh, it says the first article, Treaty of Holland. Okay, he just saying something. 
Oh, hey, drop them questions, man. And while you waiting on the questions, let's read some more of the dogs, bro. Oh, I got you. <clears throat> okay, of course, indigenous people are not miss the sympathetic so-called white range from religious figures in the north to the backwoods hero turned congressman Davy Crockett saw things quite differently. All right. And they said uh the first question is is to say could you go into detail on the trump documents that they was out the, the trump documents then are they talking about the mar-a-lago raid yeah that's what they're talking about the mar-a-lago raid they looking for what they call 72 secret treaties 72 secret treaties <clears throat> the 72 secret treaties won't be found at uh, Mar-a-Lago <coughs> because they were delivered to Raven Rock with the atomic football. Hmm. Nobody never paid any attention, young elder. Hmm. When Trump left the White House, he had the atomic briefcase in his hand. And nobody to this day is complained about him having the atomic football or the atomic briefcase with the football in it. But the question is, is <clears throat> what the fuck do it mean? Yeah, what does it mean? No president since um, the Cold War began, which was World War III. World War III was the Cold War. The Cold War was not what they told you it was. Mm -hmm. The Cold War was to put your brain on ice mm -hmm. by giving you misinformation, holding you in a perpetual state of fear of imminent global destruction. Mm -hmm. This imminent global destruction is played out in news media as a perpetual nuclear threat of total annihilation of humanity. Mm -hmm. Right? <clears throat> it's only one problem, Elder. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? What? The entire Cold War, the Soviet Union annually was financed by the United States. Yeah, USSR. The United States Socialist Republic was a communist experiment to test out the theorem of government for the new world. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. The theorem of communism was based off tribalism by disassociating the families and integrating the individual, and it failed miserably. Mm -hmm. So Ronald Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. That mm -hmm. bullshit don't work, and we can no longer fund it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And when Ronald Reagan said that, within a year, what they do? Tear down the wall. They tore that motherfucker down with sledgehammers. They was like, this shit don't work. You can't take the family out of government because when you take the family out of government, the government runs amok. The government becomes greedy to its own ends. So the 72 secret treaties in the atomic football proves that Donald Trump was still the president when he left. Mm -hmm. Because apparently he didn't leave. You can't leave the presidential position and don't turn over the Secret Service uh, code. It's a box that goes with the president. Trump got that. And you can't keep the atomic briefcase and the atomic football. And Trump left with that. And you go back and look at him leaving with it in his hand. Yeah. It's not a secret. Right. So this is a military operation being handled by a group of 50 generals in the United States Armed Forces from all branches of military. <clears throat> so this is what that was all about. This is why they ran up in there because Biden's camp, which is ran by Obama, which that motherfucker should have been dead. I don't know what the fuck he's still doing here. If he ain't dead, that motherfucker should have been off world. But anyway, Obama is the last remaining member of that faction. 
that can call the shots. Mm -hmm. All of the bushes is gone. Oh, shit, son. There you go right there with it. He left with it. He left the way he, he left and went, took it to Mar-a-Lago. Because they can't pass it over to Biden because he's not right for the president. Right. The only person, even the military, the generals got to hand it to him and he got to carry it where it needed to go. You see Trump carrying it. Them is just his luggage. See, them just basic luggage. I'm trying to see where the... Uh, if, you see one with, if you see one with Trump carrying the bag, that's going to be it. That's what it looked like right here. Trump and the nuclear codes. <laughs> that's what they're saying right here. Mm -hmm. That could be. They could have changed it. What? It says uh, nuclear football. That's secret nuclear football. What we need to know about Trump <laughs> with the nuclear, why do Trump still got the nuclear football? What you need to know about Trump nuclear football? So this right here, this right here thing is used to where he be anywhere in the world, he can fucking just hit a button and finish us off, finish the whole world off, pretty much. Yeah, at least starting or at least start World War Four. Yep. Every military operation that we've ever seen was an experiment. They ain't gonna be able to do shit. They ain't gonna be able to blow shit. They ain't gonna be able to hit no button. As soon as they think about hitting that button, we're gonna be hey, right in the back of their ass. Pull up Raven Rock, Colorado. All right. This is where all the action at right now. Yeah, let's get this action. This is why they couldn't find what they was looking for because it was here. Reagan Rock, Colorado. Right here? No, 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 that's not it. Reagan Rock, Colorado. R A V E E. Or a oh okay right like Raven Rock you said Raven Rock not Rave Reagan I think you're saying it's like President Reagan. No uh, Raven R A V E N Blackbird. I get you right here. You see that that's this is all what it is. This is an underground military base. Yeah, that's going into the war room. See that picture on the bottom right on, yeah. uh, under the picture that you got open. Right here. To the right. Oh man, go ahead. Right here. That one? Mm-mm. Uh, let me see. That one? No. Hey, you see the one up here um, that got the uh, the drawing? Okay, go all the way over to the one on the right. Right there. <coughs> So this is what it looked like, aerial view <coughs> in the schematic. Mm -hmm. Right? I was trying to show them the war room in there. Put war room, go to the top and put war room behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, those bunkers. The war room is a uh, is a um, central command operations center. I'm trying to see. Uh, scroll down some louder on the other page. Right here, this it. That, that look like the war room right there. That's the brief. That's the that's the briefing room. That's not the war room. The oh, war okay. room. It got a bunch of uh, tables in there and chairs. With, it's, that's what it looked like. 
the picture you got up now. That's what the mm-hmm. war room looked like. Yeah. Look at the symbol on the screen, Delta. Right here, though. No, that's that's the conference room. All right, but the hey. other one was the war room you had up with the big ass screen. Okay, right here, yeah. Yeah, that's the war room. You see that symbol? Yeah. That's that's see that sword upright? Yeah. That's um um vic, vicar vic vic vicar it means victory of victories. Okay. Or victor of victories in English. Okay. You see the two lightning bolts at the top? Yeah. Then you see the two wings? Yeah. And then it's the shield behind the sword. Yeah. Now notice that the blade of the sword is gold, but the handle is red. Yeah. All that shit matter. All that shit matter. Yeah, United States, uh, Turtle Island behind it. Mm-hmm. Now you see the logo for it. <clears throat> That's a drawing. It's a bird over a cave. Yeah. Right, right there. See it? Sight R. <coughs> Raven Rock Mountain Complex. <laughs> this some motherfucker know I ain't bullshitting. When you go to Alexis K. Tyler, she's gonna say she's seen tunnels that Tookie was showing her. Scroll down there and you're gonna see tunnels underground in Raven Rock. Not that one, the other side. See where that vault door open at? Yeah. Click that. Now it's look under place. it. It's the same place they, they Okay. Hit. See they what it said at the here. top up there? Cheyenne Mountain Complex. Yeah. It's where the Stargate was hidden at. It ain't here. That's just there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just part of they put it down on the bottom floor there. And they was actually using that joint. Mm-hmm. Now scroll down under that picture, Elder, that you own. Let's see what they got in there. You see the tunnels? Yeah. Then they use that machine right there to make them. Mm-hmm. You see all them tunnels? Right here. This machine right here. That's what uh, Phil Snyder was talking about, this machine. Yeah, they call, uh, Bible wrote about that in several different scrolls. He wrote it because he was talking about how they, they had made that, um, that six-hour drive to London under the uh, Atlantic Ocean using one of them. Yeah. It's like an hour and a half on that super train. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's called it's called a rail train and it's uh mag- yeah, magnetic- magnetically propelled. Yeah, that's what Phil Snyder was talking about. Right. So uh the one that you could if you want to pull up one of those trains, pull up a Japanese super train. There you go, right here. Yeah, there you go. Come on, look crazy looking. If you go to the main page, it tell you how fast that motherfucker move. Why they bullshitting, Elder? Oh yeah, let's get it. Since we don't never got no receipts. Damn, what the hell is that? Bullet train. 249 miles an hour. Damn, that's flying like a Bugatti. <laughs> the only difference is the Bugatti can spin out of control much easier than that train. Yeah. <laughs> the truth of the matter is the magnetic, uh, the magnetic trains go faster than this. Yeah, it's called magnetic propulsion. Put it in there, magnetic propulsion train. Yeah, they, they, they go, them things go like Mark 4, Mark 5, like fast as like five times faster than the speed of light. The ones that's on the ground. Um, let's see. Magnetic propulsion train. There you go, right here. Here you go, right here. This is how it look, right here. Mm-hmm. This is how it look on the ground. Them the ones that's under the tunnel from um London to uh 
The DC, I think, is either DC or New York. <clears throat> New York, and and it, and it go it go to all the Air Force bases in the whole United States, and it go to Air Fifty One. It goes to all the, the other uh, the Groom Lake. It goes to uh, Las Vegas underground, like the uh, one of the casinos where you can go underground, and then it goes to uh, Los Alamos, and then it goes to another base that's in Mexico. Yeah, so it, it, they, they connected all the way underground. It's got a whole city network, a hundred and some cities underground connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah Bob wrote there. about that. He was writing about uh, those, uh, the technology. I think it was either Leviathan 666 or it was uh, it was Man from Planet Millennium Richard. Books, one of the yeah. Millennium Books. Yeah, I got the, I got both of the Millennium Books and the Man from Planet Ridge. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's in the Man from Planet Ridge and the, I think it's in the Millennium Books. Look, we think there's some new technology, Elder. This old. They got this on Venus. These, look, this is like in Earth years, the Anunnaki would have did this over two billion years ago. Yeah, yeah. In Earth years. It's not as many years to them as it is for us because they got a different um, solar orbit. Yeah. And their time is different on Nibiru than it is on Earth, but on Earth, it would have been some billions of years ago. That's how old this shit is. Yeah. They just giving it to us as we going into a golden age <clears throat> after the close of this age. They said we couldn't do this shit, Elder. Mm-hmm. We would never figure out that it was feathers against feathers and that we was two different groups of people and that they was among us Look like us, but they not of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They didn't think that one of us would ever know that they came over here as conquistadors. They set up a plot in the 32 degree Scottish Rite Freemasonic lodges that they was using pale faces to keep us blocked from. Mm-hmm. They never expected that we would invite half of European friendly faces over here in order to overrun their institutions with pale, friendly faces that could go in and get the secrets freely Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and bring them back out to us because if we didn't pass the brown paper bag test, we couldn't go in. Mm -hmm. And even if we could pass the brown paper bag test, if we didn't have a pale face to vouch for us, we couldn't go in. So then you wonder how Elijah Muhammad ended up associated with J.B. Hunt. Mm. Right? But he said, Yaku grafted the devil. The devil is the white man. And the white man is your sworn enemy. That's what Elijah told us, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So how is J.B. Hunt one of his closest comrades? Go ahead. Right, because JB Hunt understands the mission, he financed the chiefs of the land, he can earn the right for his prodigy or progeny to come over here and set up a tribe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. we got to get out of this shit one way or another, and somebody got to figure it out, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. So they told us that they brought us over here from ships from Africa. But my DNA said, nigga, you've been here the whole time. What the fuck they talking about? Yeah, right. Right? When I go outside and I talk to the wind, the wind come back and say, what is you talking about? Them your kids been over there in Africa, but you ain't them and they ain't you. Mm -hmm. So my Pan-African studies is what was the result when I studied Marcus Garvey. And it allowed me to understand from the perspective of an African world viewpoint that the world wasn't always African. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? There is another group of melanated people they call Negritos. That's not Africans. In India, they call them Dravidians. Mm -hmm. In Japan, they're called the Ainu. Right Mm -hmm. in Australia, they call um, 
I forget the name they call themselves down there. But all of these people are um, genetically tied to the earth. Most of us don't know that South is up. So we automatically come in the world upside down. Mm -hmm. Right? So how do we know South is up? If South is up, it would be more exposed to the solar to the sun than the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, how do I say that? Well, how do you verify that? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> In order for any side to get more sunlight than the other, that means that the part with the most sunlight has to be more exposed to the sun than the part that get the least sunlight. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. If you count from the uh, equator to Detroit in the north, go to the same parallel south and tell me what climate is there. <clears throat> it's tropical, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Why is it tropical? Because it's getting more sun on the top than the bottom, which is all ice. Mm -hmm. It's the coldest part. Mm -hmm. This is how you know the ice shelf was created when the top poked out of the atmosphere. Like a yolk poking out of an egg. When this happened, it created the ice shelf. It's mm -hmm. not a wall, it's a shelf. Because it goes up so high, but then it levels out. Because the water splashed when the worlds collided. And the splash broke through the atmosphere and flash froze in the darkness of space. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's so it's so cold out there, you need all this special gear just to be up there. Right? So that water flash froze a civilization that Adolf Hitler in World War II went to go and see if he could discover. He found out by Heinrich Himmler sending commission um, generals to go into the to, uh, Tibetan mountains. You can look this shit up. This ain't hard to find. And to get the um, most powerful um, secrets of the earth from the monks. And he used a group called the Thule Society or the Thule Society. And this was the secret society of choice for the Third Reich, mm -hmm. right? What's the symbol for the Thule Society? You want to look it up? Yeah, I'm going to agree to get off right this, though. Okay. All right, what you got right here? How I, how I spell it? T-H-U-L-E, society, symbol. Oh, you are not connected. Oh, we connected. What the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, they they we we playing the wrong shit. That's that's what we still talking about. That type of shit. Mm hmm. Celebration paperclip turned up. Yeah. To spook to a spook that sat by the door. Oh uh, shit! There we go, right there. Yeah, I knew that that was a symbol because that's the uh, dealing with uh, Vasquez, Mother uh, Velasquez, or whatever with Hitler. Hitler, Velasquez. yeah, he was part of that same order. Like he studied under her. Mm -hmm. You see the dagger? Yeah, the dagger pointing down, ain't it? Yeah. But under the Raven Rock, it was a sword pointing up. What? Yeah, right. Go ahead. You see that symbol in the back? Mean flipping. Yeah. Backwards. It's a backwards swastika, so that's flip it backwards. Yeah, that's right. If you flip it backwards, it don't matter because it's still going to point straight up. Mm hmm Right? So the dagger was really a sword. The sword was the sword of truth, and the sword of truth cuts both ways. It cuts down the wicked, 
and it break, cuts free the righteous. Mm -hmm. Right? So catch me on Brother Rich tomorrow. We're going to be uh, we're gonna be Black Magic 363 on this month. Yeah, we're going to be uh, on there watching it, man. I'm going to be on there watching it with him. Uh, I ain't going to go live at that time. I'm going to go I'm gonna go live earlier, like uh, 9 and 1 o'clock. So I, I'm, I'm going to be on that show with y'all, like uh, watching it uh, at 9 o'clock tomorrow with Brother Rich. And, uh, you, mm. Yeah, yeah so, he want to go over a lot of the information we've been going over on here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah y'all go over, man. Like, we, we spreading the news, man. We spreading the word. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, so, I just, I'm going to send him some folders and tell him to pick what he want to talk about. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, we got some heavy shit we be talking about, man. Like, some of that stuff will get, like, you no know, people scared to really fuck with the shit we be talking about because they be like, oh, I don't want to get my page the shadow band and shit because, uh, but really, it don't matter because the truth got to come out. Somebody got to tell it. That's why they let they let me get these tapes off because I told them, I like I told you too, man. You got to give me a chance to get my people. You got to give me a chance to get my mm -hmm. people. And and, and 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 you can see for <clears throat> somebody that don't know what they're talking about, we bring a lot of receipts. Yeah, the, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I got to keep bringing that up because we didn't go. I didn't. None of that shit we went over. I ain't writing none of that shit. Yeah, you, yeah. Why you coming out? You just a messenger. I, I'm, no, I'm just showing you where it's at, so you don't have to do the research. You can see us do it in real time. Yeah, don't get mad at the messenger, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a mm -hmm. man, man. Just delivering this shit right to your door. You open that shit up, nigga. You open that shit, nigga. That's your shit. You open that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. don't get mad at me, nigga. Get mad at the nigga that wrote that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, uh, that symbol is sweet as hell right there, though. Yeah. That shit dope as fuck. The one that you got in this corner over here? Yeah. You might have to send me that right quick. <laughs> yeah, I, you, uh, I just got all the uh, thrills, the thrill symbol type thing. It's right there. I don't know. I find. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm about to get ready to get up out of here, man. Uh all right, man. So, baby, we thank you, brother uh, Rod Hayes, for coming out tonight and kicking it with us and giving us some more uh, knowledge, news we could use. You know what I'm saying? So, we want to say sure. shout out to all our people, man. Like I said, we got the cash out for brother Rod Hayes posted in the links. If you want to send him some love, uh, hit that like. Everybody, we got like 500 people up in this joint, man. Everybody hit that like right now. 576 people. Everybody hit that like. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed. Hit that bell. If you don't receive a notification from us, come back every day. We got some hot dropping every day, man. So, about to get up out of here, man. Uh, it's it's uh, Islam, peace, love, hotel, harmony throughout the balanced universe. So, should to all. Why do one last one last thing, y'all? That we gonna do a part two to this? To yeah, yeah. Make sure they understand where the five dollar Indians came from and how they got here. So, the next part gonna be showing y'all the slaves that came over. With the settlers. Okay, we'll probably be able to do that what on Tuesday or Wednesday, one of the days you free. Uh I mean, <clears throat> yep. Okay, all right. We'll we'll be back on. Just send me all the uh documents and we'll set it back up like it like we always do. So uh, we out of this thing. Peace and love throughout the balanced universe to all, 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 all.